pallbearers, members of the congregation, welcome again to another funeral. 2021 has been strange. On this YouTube channel, I talk about LG. I've made hundreds of videos, comparison videos, and my thoughts about LG and their product. Let me put one thing on record. I am a huge LG fan. On this YouTube channel, I gave LG a fair shake. I did many, many comparison videos. I just recently dropped a video about LG. To me, LG has beautiful, good devices, but it didn't have the backbone to back it up. Think about this. You got an LG V60, LG Velvet, LG V50, LG V40, and so forth and so on. What's wrong with those devices? Nothing. They got good body styles. They got good cameras. I mean, everything about them is good. Quad decks and everything in between. In 2020, we saw a shift in LG. They came out with the LG V60, the LG Velvet, the LG Wing, one of the most innovative devices of 2020. But we also heard that LG had been losing billions of dollars every year. It wasn't about the product. It was about what was going on behind the scenes that led up to this. Look, I've been on this YouTube channel begging and pleasing uh, LG to do something as far as marketing and doing other things with their devices to get into people's hands. They could not get the product in people's hands. It wasn't about innovation. It wasn't about the beauty of the product. It wasn't about features. It wasn't about a lot of different aspects about LG devices. LG's biggest problem was that they did not, they could not get the devices in people's hands. So what's next for LG? Right now they're severing ties. If you got an LG device, it's almost time for you to move on. If you think, if you want support, future updates and everything in between, you probably won't get it. In 2021, you'll be fine with the current device that you have. They promised security patches and possible software updates with selected devices. I wouldn't, I would take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the ultimate cutoff is in July. Uh, so uh, if LG is leaving the mobile space, this is not a good thing. This is a terrible thing. That means it's less competition. That means prices go up. That means less innovation. That means a lot of things happen when a huge company like LG pull out the mobile space. You got to think about it. You got lower tier devices, mid tier devices, flagships are, are, are all going to be yanked out of the ecosystem uh, in the mobile market. It's not a good thing. It gives people less choice. So by LG's leaving the mobile de market, this is not a good thing. This is a terrible thing. Now, where do we go at from here? I know they have millions upon millions of LG fans out there that's gonna continue to hold their devices maybe for another year or so before they move on to another uh, company. I'm gonna continue to make LG videos on this YouTube channel for the fans that uh, still holding on hope to their devices. Uh, but we all know now it's no more hope, but I am still going to make videos about LG so y'all guys can get all the information that I have about LG. The more I know, the more I share. So that's it. It's a sad day. This is a very sad day. Um, and I believe that this whole thing with LG is their fault. They could have tried harder. They could have done things differently. They could have fired people earlier. However they should have done it, they should have done it earlier. But now here we are. So Paul Barros, members of the congregation, let's bow our heads and say our last goodbyes to LG. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this sad day in history. This is gonna go down in history that LG gave up on a mobile division and they closing it down. <sighs> See you guys on the next video. Peace.